A Greenwich woman who was born in and spent a part of her youth in Ukraine is now at the border of Poland and Ukraine, helping to facilitate safe passage for Ukrainian refugees fleeing that war-torn nation. Fox 61's Tony Terzi had a chance to speak with her about her efforts and how Connecticut can lend a helping hand. Olga Litvinenko, a Greenwich businesswoman and native of Ukraine, helped her great aunt get out of Kiev this week and find refuge in France through an organization that Olga is now teaming up with at the Poland-Ukraine border. I'm providing direct relief through personal contacts and through personal situations, such as these individuals who are renting a big bus and have the authorization from the French government to bring refugees. And she says the women and children are the ones most afraid to leave the Poland-Ukraine border. A lot of the women who we were taking on the bus, they were nervous that they were being human trafficked. Olga Litvinenko confirms human trafficking is indeed picking up at the border. And, and the fact that there are people who are coming and taking these women and children or women, young women, to put them in an even worse situation is heartbreaking for me. She notes that her experience as 2017 Miss Connecticut USA, which built her confidence, will aid her in this journey to instill confidence in the many broken women. A lot, a lot of these women have been really devastated and, and sad and uh, lack motivation. So being able to look them in the eye and tell them, uh, you're beautiful, you're, you're resilient, you will be back to your country. To assist the organization in transporting refugees to France, paying for the buses, fuel and food, she's part of a Greenwich group that created a GoFundMe page. Um, and as we continue with our efforts, we look forward to partnering with larger organizations to, that are also on the ground and people that already have established means of purchasing things. Litvinenko is also assisting a Ukrainian animal shelter that has roughly 3,000 orphaned animals, two of which her mom was able to bring home to Connecticut last month from Ukraine just a week before the bombing started. I'm Tony Terzi, Fox 6. 61 News.